Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I am using the December Fox Box and there's a fab perspective in there that says goodbye 2020 and I think we are all ready for that. So I don't know if you've ever done this before but I actually took some photos for this. I just did a silly selfie with a Santa hat and some funny glasses and I poked my tongue out and crossed my eyes. Um, just sort of a, you know, goodbye 2020, I've had enough of you, don't want to see you again. So I thought it'd be quite cute. So um, I have um, the Coco Vanilla Merry and Bright collection here. And I have the 6x8 paper pack. So I wanted to use some of these gorgeous papers on this layout. The background paper is um, a Hip Kit Club exclusive paper from their November kit. And as I said, these pieces are all from Coco Vanilla Merry and Bright. So I'm just going to cut a two inch strip from each piece of paper. So it gives me two inches by eight inches for each piece. And I'm just going to arrange them across the page slightly staggered. So nothing very exciting. I um, just thought it would give a lot of colour to my page. And I'm just using my edge distressor there just to give a bit of extra texture. So apart from having, you know, Christmas trees um, and sort of, you know, a bit of holly here and there. This collection isn't overly Christmassy, so it's quite good for doing non-Christmas layouts too. But I do have a Christmas hat on, so it seemed right to do a Christmas collection. <laughs> so I'm just taking the manufacturer's strip off of this piece of paper, and I'm going to arrange my little strips of paper onto the base. And I'm just gonna stick those down in a second with some double-sided tape. Yeah, so that's how I want it to look. Um, so I'm just going to start to stick things down here. And I want to get that first one centred up so that I can, uh, so that the others will sit nicely on the page. Halfway through this, I have a um, tape gun malfunction. Well, it runs out of tape, so I did cut me putting it back together again. There we go. <laughs> more tape. I must order some more, though. That was my last one. So note to self there. Okay, so now I've just got my fine line um, black sharpie and I'm going to draw around the edge of each of these. I thought about stitching them but um, I decided against it. Um, I thought I would just put some lines on here. Part of me wishes I had st stitched them now but, um, but I still like it this way. Okay, so I'm um, just going to start to choose what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up the photos with the some of the papers that I used on the base. <clears throat> A different one for each photo and I'm going to distress the edges of those as well just to match in with the background. Okay so I'm pulling out the um, die cuts from this kit. Um, they're all gorgeous, they all match obviously. So I'm just going to put in a few things here. So that's just a frame, which I'm going to stick around the edge, and some florals. Because this isn't technically a Christmas layout, although I'm wearing a Christmas hat, um, I'm not too concerned about Christmas icons on there. <clears throat> okay, so that's more or less how it's going to look. It's quite a simple layout, actually, but I love all the colour on it, and um, makes me smile. <laughs> And the pictures of me are so fun. I mean, they're silly, so silly, that it just <laughs> makes me laugh when I look at it. If we can't be silly at a year like this, when can we be silly, right? Okay, so these snowflakes are also from the Fox Box from December. And they've got little, um, little circles on them so that they could hang. But I decided to cover those and just have them as, as um, flat onto the page. So I'm putting foam onto the back of my photos there just to pop them up, give a bit of dimension. And they're slightly overlapped, so that's why I was playing with the foam there. And also I want those snowflakes to go underneath, so I um, just have to play around a little bit. So I'm going to start to stick things down just while it's all in situ. Um, I find it easier to do that way because if I take it all apart, I'll forget how I want it to go. So I'm just sticking it down there. 
and I'll also stick the snowflakes. <coughs> We go cute so I'm going to stick my photos down excuse the camera being shaky my stand is actually on my desk and and it shakes I'm hoping my husband will fix that for me in the new year and put my stand coming down from the ceiling so uh, hopefully my videos will be less shaky in future <laughs> so I'm just putting some foam underneath those flowers even though I'd already stuck them down I pulled them back up wet glue is great for that obviously and I'm putting some foam underneath because I want something for my perspective to sit on because I want it to overlap the photo a little. Um, and that meant it was going flat on one side and raised on the other and that didn't really work. So it's the best way I found to do that. Just using wet glue there to stick things down in my fine liner bottle. Um, I just put one little extra sentiment on there that says joy to the world, which I thought was quite funny, actually. <laughs> it was my little joke. And I put that on there. And then I did add some little gold dots on there with some Nouveau, um, Nouveau, what is it called? I don't even know. Nouveau crystal drops. So that was the final layout. There are the close-ups. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. See you next time. Bye-bye.